Hello, hello, it's me, Fizzy, and welcome to my Undertale Yellow Let's Play. This is part four, and we just, we ventured, we're in the Dunes region, and we ventured through the mines, and I think we finally made it to town. However, I forgot, but I didn't forget, but I forgot about the miner's brother who stole the TNT. We need to go back, and we need to check out what he's done so we're gonna do our favorite thing and backtrack a little bit and then we'll we'll continue on do i i think it's i think it's this let's see unless there's a shortcut what if there's a shortcut and i completely miss it because i'm insisting on backtracking exactly the way that i came it's fine we have arrived here we are okay it's the x is gone and so is our friend. Well, I guess he's not really our friend. I tried to narc on him, right? Hi! I was, I didn't do anything. Are those little friends that you have jumping around you? I entered this cave to find the treasure, but I found these fellas instead. They are fellas! They hopped up to me and now, I guess we're buddies? Is that how that works? In any case, nice. <laughs> Oh, awesome! I'm so glad we came back! I had almost given up and I didn't come back. And there was a very helpful YouTube comment and I'm glad, I, I'm glad that I saw it. I'm glad we came back. Oh, the music in here is a vibe already. If there's any treasure around, you can have it. I think these funky frogs are all like- They're frogs! Oh, and my brother, I guess he's okay. Oh, you guess? Hopefully he gets to keep his job. Sometimes happiness is just a couple of pals chilling in a cave. Other times, it's more complicated. Mine is definitely the former, because I can't even spell the word complicated. On your way out, say hi to my brother for me, huh? Oh, I absolutely will. I... The music is frogs croaking. I want to talk to them. I love them. They're adorable. I can't even see them, but I know it. I can sense it. Is that a golden cactus? I have to touch this one. Sorry, Clover. A beautiful, delicious looking gold cactus catches your eye. Take it. Yes? You got the golden cactus. What is it? Gold cactus heals 15 HP for three turns. The first bite hurts for five HP. So you give a five HP and you get three turns of 15 HP healing. So it's either like a Hail Mary last resort type of thing. Like I, I better not get hit this next round or it's something that you use in preparation to prepare for getting hit. That might have helped with El Bailador. <laughs> I had a lot of trouble with him. The forbidden... They did not call it a forbidden snack. Oh my god. I... That's adorable. Okay, yes, I will say hi to your... Oh, I wish I need to... Why can't I talk to the frogs? I have complaints. <laughs> Do I have to leave? Okay, we'll leave. Okay, we're here. Let's tell the Frog King's brother what has transpired. I know that I would go tell the foreman, but I'm pretty scared. A few more minutes in my uniform won't hurt. His dialogue did it. You acknowledge your brother and his frog kinginess. It's fine. It's okay. It's not... Oh, the rocks. I forgot about the rocks. It's not... The ending that we wanted, but I guess it's the ending we deserved, right? I don't- OH! I was- Yeah, my bad. I was pretty close to that rock, wasn't I? <laughs> I thought I stopped right at, like, the opportune spot for it to not hit me. I misjudged- Oh! I misjudged the distance. Oh no! Oh, we made it! <laughs> okay. So, we just need to make it back to the city now. Oh, there's the very jolly miner. And once we make it back, we'll be right back on track for storyline. I'm so excited to explore the town. I can only imagine what crazy characters are going to be there. 
I really, what I really, really like, I like the monster designs in this game. Everybody is very, like, look at the way this guy is just standing. Like, are you a shark monster? What, are you a sloth monster? What are you? It's, and it, it, it really, it really doesn't matter what they're based on. Their designs are just very creative and very inspired. Like, are you a shrimp? Are you a worm? Are you a rag? It doesn't matter. You're very cool to look at and very pleasing to the eye. All right, Clover. Up you go. And I love the use of contraptions in this game. The The contraptions are... The contraption... Dependence is very heavy. Everything is like some gizmo or doodad that that sorts the minerals or acts as the elevator. It's nothing is like normal and straightforward. Something's always got prop It's almost, almost steampunk-ish inspired this air in this area, except instead of like bronze and, and metals, it's using like wood and rope. Does that make sense? It's like prehistoric steampunk. I don't, what's the word for that? Prehistoric is too old though. Western steampunk just sounds silly. Spaghetti steampunk. I don't know. I'm trying here. See? Like, are you a squirrel? Are you a moth? Are you a bug? It doesn't matter. You're adorable. Sigh. This playground used to be fun. Ever since my playmates stopped showing up, it's become boring. I wonder where they went. I... Well, who's your playmate? What do they look like? Sigh. This playground used to be fun. Okay, it's the same dialogue. You're not gonna give me any more dialogue? It's an empty swing. Hop on, yeah. I'll swing with you. <gasps> Clover's little feet are moving. Oh my God. Can I swing? No, swing Clover. Can we swing? Is there like swing controls? Like if I press... Okay, I don't think I can move. <laughs> it's still really adorable. It just gets really quiet. Clover kicks their little feet around. Thanks for sitting with me. I hope we can be friends. I want to be your friend. I better get going soon. My papa's probably wondering where I am. Well, who's your papa? Can I come home and eat dinner with you guys? It's one of those, one of those toys, like the spring horses, like the horses on the springs in the playgrounds. That's ridiculous. I would accidentally launch myself off those things all the time. Uh, what is this direction? I for, I don't remember if we check this way yet. Uh, maybe, but I don't think we explored anything. Attention, gift shop ahead. That's right, we checked this sign. I realized that we were getting close to a new area and then I decided to to kind of cut it off there. Okay, let's let's go to the gift shop. But I need to read this cactus sign first. There's a note attached to the cactus. 50% off on all our products. <gasps> is it Mo? The S in products is crudely scribbled in. Opening hours, Monday through Friday, Mo through Fry. No one calls Mon, Mon Mo. They always put the N in it. 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Saturday and Sunday, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Lunch break, 12 a.m. to 12, 15 p.m. Wait, that's a long lunch break. It's not Mo. Who is, who are you, you imposter? Step right up. We've got a blowout sale going on. It may look like we're almost sold out, but quite the contrary. We only ordered one stock of mug. It has been this trusty it has been on this trusty shelf for 13 years. Demand is depressingly low, so take advantage of this offer now. Only 40 gold, bucko! <laughs> bye. Bye. Um bye. Wait, seriously? I mean, yes, of course! Aha! Ha 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 ha! Go fetch it off the shelf and I'll ring you up. I mean... <gasps> it's okay, Clover. You didn't mean to. It was an accident. It's... Clover, it's fine. It's not a big deal. 
enjoy your shards of glass. No charge anymore, buddy. You break it, you do not buy it. <laughs> Wait, really? Is this ammo? Take the mug shards. Obtain glass ammo. <gasps> that is, I love the silly ways that we're obtaining ammo. It's amazing. Glass ammo, weapon attack five, literal shards of glass. Yep. <laughs> Restores two HP after every attack. That's good. Since you bought the mug, I'll have to sell the shelves themselves. I mean, I didn't buy the mug. I offered to buy the mug. You should have let me buy the mug. I feel bad. Take my buddy. <laughs> okay, what's past the east? I went all the way. I, what did I say? I said if there was going to be a shortcut, I was going to be upset. And there's a shortcut. Oh, my God. I. <laughs> that is. I did that to myself. Honestly, I did it to myself. Game developers are smarter than I am. Why don't I trust them? <laughs> I never trust them to put in the shortcut and there's always a shortcut, like one screen past where I I gave up. <laughs> What's the holdup, pal? Nothing, Flowey. I'm freaking out, Flowey. Oh, our friend is gone. <laughs> I do this to myself every single time. I think I did this during my Skyward Sword playthrough too. Oh, look, there's more foliage. We've got little flowers. We've got flowy and friends. Just random patches of prairie in the desert. Oh! <gasps> oh no! I stepped on petless flowers! Oh, this is just like Breath of the Wild. She's gonna yell at me for stepping on her flowers, or is she nice? I mean, the other lady's nice too. She just has boundaries about her flowers, and that's okay. Pedla approaches from the flower bed, offering you a flower. Hi, Pedla! I mean, she can't be too mad if she's offering me flowers, right? Um, I'm- Oh, I'm gonna accept it! But first, I'm gonna check. Pedla, attack 10, defense 7, loves to give away flowers. Oh, Aren't flowers just magnificent? They are, Pedla! Oh, don't move! Don't move! Don't move! Don't move! Don't move! Okay, I get it. <laughs> Pedla twirls around the sand! You reach for Pedla's offering. Here you go. Thank you, Pedla. Oh. I like when they have health options. Pedla lets out a warm smile. Bye, Pedla. That was cute. I got 12 gold for that. All I did was win. I want to smell the flowers. I think that was just the enemy in the area. I don't think that had anything to do with me approaching the flowers, by the way. <laughs> Hi, Flowey. Howdy! Gee, looks like we're getting close to an exit from this place. Oh! No t wait! Aside from those mines, time has been pretty friendly to us. Should be a simple journey from here on out. Clover? Great. It's Martlet! Hi, Martlet! Clover! You're alive! You're here! You're... here! I can't believe myself. I left you all alone in that cave. You had to brave the dunes by yourself. I'm a horrible friend. They trust me to be a royal guard and I left a child for dead. Like, what is wrong with me? It's okay. Oh, I clicked that too fast. I... What were the options? Now I feel bad. What if the other one was nicer? Why do I do this? <laughs> I only cause pain for myself. I, yes, thank you. You're clearly able to take care of yourself. The crash just happened so fast. When I saw what had happened to you, I panicked. I flew over the sandy landscape and found this town. I soon realized that I couldn't risk getting other monsters involved. They might have questioned me and I cannot, and I cannot keep secrets. They could have turned, they could have turned us into the more sinister royal guards. They could have turned us into the more sinister royal guards. I'm sorry, I had trouble reading that. <laughs> so I uh, sat by a cactus for an hour, thinking of what, thinking of what, pe what a piece of garbage I am. I then got the courage to travel back to you and apologize, but 
here you were. So I'm deeply sorry. Forgive or dot dot dot. Of course we're gonna forgive Martlet. Thank you, Clover. You're very kind. Anyway, we should move on. I decided that I won't leave your side now. I'll follow you wherever you lead. You just endured some crazy underground shenanigans, though. I'd understand if you need to rest for a bit. If you want to hang around, that's great. I didn't get to sightsee at all on the way over here. Well then, friends, shall we be off? Bartlett joins the party! This is... <gasps> Can't say this is how I thought my day would end up. Meeting a human, visiting a new place, couple checks off, couple checks off the bucket list for sure. Wait, so I didn't miss I didn't miss anything, right? This is that thing again where I need to have more faith. And I have none. What do you think of this place, Smartlet? Do you like it? Aw, the playground is super cute. I should build one of these back home for the school. You should, Martlet, I'll help you. I like that Martlet Naruto runs. It's very cute. <laughs> Is that... Was that a, a palm tree? I guess palm trees work in the desert. Is this the first palm tree we've seen? Or the first palm tree that I've noticed? I didn't think it was that kind of desert. Welcome! Look, we're here! It's the town! Okay, I did need to have more faith. Welcome to Oasis Valley, home to the largest body of water in the dunes. Oh, I love it. Is this a hermit crab under a pyramid? Pinch, pinch, hee hee, beware of my pincers, traveler. I love them. Oh my God, they're hermit crabs, but they're pyramids instead of shells. I do not have any treasure hidden within my shell. Why do monsters keep asking me that? I don't know, but you're very cute. We're not caged within these fences, Traveler. It is a choice. It is nice to live in a familiar place with the pack. It is also nice to be fed and taken pictures of. <laughs> it's like, I like being a pet. It's okay, bro. Please don't set me free. Not like those lobsters. <laughs> what? What do we got going on here? This monster is too busy quenching their thirst to speak. With eye-catching water like that, who could resist? This looks like a mag... What is the, the Pokemon's name? Magnium? I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but it's the evolved form of a bay leaf. This looks like a dried-out Magnium. Like someone forgot to water their Magnium, and now they're just... dusty. <laughs> it's okay. They're quenching their thirst. They'll be fine. <gasps> a dusty little guy? What are you? You look like... A suit sprite grew up and got some cool clothes. Hello, darling. How are you doing today? It's a lovely day, ain't it? It is always this hot and humid, you think? I just moved here from Snowden. Snowden? So I'm not sure yet, but a local like you would know, right? I got a question for you, actually. Do you develop some sort of spectrum of hot around here? I think just hot is hot. At least for me, I, I don't like the heat. See, like, not just hot, but blazing hot versus sweltering hot. You know what? You look busy. We'll talk later or something, please. You're making me hot just talking about the heat. This monster is too busy quenching their thirst to speak. With eye catching water like that, who could resist? I wanted to, I had to talk to the dusty magnium again. I call today blistering hot, I think. Or is that too unoriginal? Maybe something more interesting, like pickling hot. <laughs> <laughs> that makes no sense, actually, so maybe not then. I'll have to think about this some more. Your reflection sparkles and distorts in the pool of water. You notice a high-tech filtration system keeping it drinkable. Oh, I wonder who's responsible for that. Maybe we'll find a book somewhere that tells us. What is this? A 7-Eleven in my desert? It's a cafe. It looks a little out of place, but in a good way. I guess no it doesn't. It just looks newer than every than everything else here. Yeah, oh, see all the other buildings fit like a common like desert-esque theme and this one is just white and bright and shiny and newer. Sorry, I had to run around for a second and look at all the buildings. Let's go into the cafe first, the the new one. It's an elongated spinda that's green? 
Have you given up your life of being a wrangler to experience modernism? Okay, it's supposed to look more modern than everything else. Everyone's going to talk about modernism in here. <laughs> I highly suggest doing so. It is the most prestigious life one could choose. Chic architecture, light switches, latte machines, it's all here. Once you indulge, you can't stop. Why do I choose to live in the dunes and not somewhere modern like Hotland? Because I want to feel important. <laughs> if I walk around using tech in front of monsters who don't, I'm the cool one. I'm probably the most secure monster. Oh, yeah, sure. I'm sure the most secure monster award goes to elongated green spinda. I need to invest in a nice suit to really sell my status. Gotta say, there's something incredibly unsettling, unsettling about not wearing clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, you're not the only- you're like, that's what was so off. That was so off about this character is that everybody else seems like they're more or less wearing some kind of clothing and elongated green spindas just naked over here <laughs> with a possible monocle. I can't tell if that's a pattern from their fur or an actual monocle that they're sport in. I need to invest in a nice suit to really sell my status. Gotta say, there's something incredibly unsettling about not wearing clothes. All right, okay. We got it, buddy. I remember this game working more efficiently in the past. The air pressure seems to have been tampered with or something. Considering this table doubles the AC, that ain't good news. This is the only place that keeps up on modern trends in the dunes. How do monsters live without good ol' electricity? Especially those wild east folk. That life ain't for me. By the way, I've, har I've heard talks of reforesting the dunes lately. I don't know how, but I'm rooting for it. Oh, interesting. Can I play air hockey with you, bud? No, I don't fit. Clover doesn't fit. You're too wide. It's okay. They should move the machine. It's grounded. How disappointing. <laughs> oh, we can't move the machine. I'm sorry, Clover. It's grounded. <laughs> Spend three gold to play? Yeah. <gasps> I am not... All right, here we go. Dash to safety. Hold B to go for... Okay, give it your all. Shoot. Okay, I... This is not gonna go well. Avoid sadness. Spread joy. All right, Mew Mew. Ah! Sorry for screaming. Oh, they're joyful. Oh, everyone is so full of joy. Go Mew Mew, go. What is that? Why is that? Hey, it looked like a book. Why is a book sadness? Oh, I'm, oh, I think that was, I was supposed to turn that into health maybe. I think I only have one life left. Oh no. How could I spread joy? I only got 200 points? All right, what's the other game? This is, that's adorable. I can't believe they went through the effort to put actual little arcade games in the game. Yo, what do you want? I'm in the middle of a gaming sesh. Oh, you're a kid like me. I bet you're good at these machines. Have you tried out Mew Mew Love Blaster? It's addicting. I suck at it though. I hear there's a final boss, but I've never seen anyone reach it. Bet you could totally kick its butt. I bet I couldn't. I, don't you? <sighs> If you're around the area and need monsters to hang with, my friend group are in the coolest kids around. The head count has been down lately, but it's still a fun time. What's the head count? Just you, buddy? Yo, sorry if I'm hogging this game. I'm determined to unlock a secret character I saw on the internet. <laughs> so far, I haven't had any luck, but it's gotta be real. I saw the screenshot. Oh, yeah? I'm sure. Can't talk. Gaming. I have no respect for gamers. I can't believe I talked to them again. Out of order. Please stop feeding it money. <laughs> I... Mew Mew Love Blaster. Maybe I don't... Oh, God. Because if I start playing it and I try to get to the final boss, I'm going to spend, like, five hours trying to do... I... How could you do this? I'm- I have to ignore it. I can't think about it because I'm not- I'm not- I'm not skillful enough for that right now. A child's drawing depicting three happy monsters. My precious family by me. Aww. And they've got a little kid's drawing board up there. Adorable. 
I would sell you something, but I'm on strike. The owner needs to better themselves. That's me. I'm the owner. <laughs> what? I need more information, please. Run along now. I don't see myself improving anytime soon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can I help you? The owner has a guilty conscience for some reason. The music here, um... The beginning notes are very earthbound. I don't know... I... I don't know what town it is. It's probably Three Sun. That was the sandy one, right? Or was it two? No, Two Sun wasn't sandy. I maybe it was Three Sun. I'm not positive, but it was. I. It's. I don't know Earthbound well enough to accurately describe which area it matches, but there's. It's there. I can hear it. I could probably look for the song and point it out. Hello, traveler. Would you be interested in having your fortune told? Absolutely. Only five gold per fortune. Now you may be thinking that price is a little low. What quality fortune from an experienced fortune teller costs five gold? Well, your suspicions would be correct. See, I'm a, I'm a fortune teller in training, so I'm selling tiny fortunes. Practice, you see. So can I interest you in a bite-sized fortune? Yeah, that's cute. Let us see what the world has in store for you. Are you going to do a little Katrina thing? Hmm. Oh, dear. The future seems to indicate you're in for a tumble. Oh, no, no, no. It looks like a big one, too. It will happen very soon. Hang on. Oh, tumbleweed. <laughs> I guess I got a little excited and missed that second part. Sorry for the scare. Looks like everything is fine after all. Is a tumbleweed going to attack me as soon as I leave this place? Tiny fortune, still only five gold. Would you like one? Another one? Sure. Let us see what the world has in store for you. Hmm. Ah, yes. Here we go. A very specific reading, too. These are rare. In approximately two minutes, it will be 14, 8. 2, 2, 8? 2, 2, 2, 8 what? Well, I hope that knowledge is helpful. Was it backwards? 8, 8, 41? I mean, military time, that would be a, a two and an eight, but I don't know what... It's fine. It's okay. Maybe they're maybe they're referencing my save data time, because that's, like, counted in minutes. I don't know. I also... I'm forgetting to talk to Martlet. There's so much to see in this town. I'm getting some strong Honeydew Resort vibes. After I get tired of keeping the peace every day, I may move here. A mighty fine retirement plan, yeah? Alright, what do you have to say about here, Martlet? I apologize for not talking with the residents more. With my bird brain, who knows what my what might slip out? Oh, Martlet. Visiting from the wild east, are you? I must say, I haven't seen your face around these parts. Welcome to my abode, young one. As you may notice, I have a knack for preservation of life. Grass is very rare here. For any to grow, there must be a source of water close by, or amongst the ground. I try my best to keep my own little patch happy. It's one of my mini hobbies. Oh, you just care for a little patch of grass? That's adorable. The dunes didn't used to be like this. Rivers, trees, and plenty of grass painted the area, lush and beautiful. This was years ago, of course. The memories often escape me. It's hard to blame anyone for the loss of those things. Poor miners had no idea such a large stone could kill an ecosystem. Is that the swelter stone that they're talking about? No one did. It was a new discovery at the time. I suppose it was nature's will. I began a small project south of here, planted a sapling in an empty shelter. The townsfolk and I watch over it, giving it water every day. If we're lucky, it will grow into something wonderful, a glimpse of days gone by. Enjoy the rest of your visit, partner. <laughs> oh, I can't go near their patch of grass, that's valid. Above the table is a painting of a large swelter stone. It's almost as if the heat leaps right off the canvas. Oh, you found 30 gold in one of the pants pockets? No, don't take his money. <gasps> we no, stop it, Clover. I just want, I would like to move pan past the pants. It's not worth it. Hey, I found 30 gold in your pants. You better be safer with that stuff.
Okay, so we've met... Let's see, do you have anything else to say, Martlet? There's so much to see in this town. I'm getting some strong Honeydew Resort vibes. Nothing new here. Maybe if we go into different buildings and ask. Ooh, I bet I can tell your fortune, Clover. Yes, hmm. I see you with a brand new hat. One that just screams, I'm a human. <laughs> Kidding, by the way. Your hat's plenty cool as is. I mean, does it really scream I'm a human? That might not be what we want to advertise here. I'm not sure. Jeez, I was hoping it'd be cooler in here, but nope. It's because the hockey machine, the air hockey machine slash AC is broken, Martlet. Okay, what else do we have going on here? We went into this big building. Now there's a path north or a path south. Let's go, um, actually, let's go south first. I love the sound track for this area. It's even got like a little bit of like, like story of seasons in it too. I don't know how to explain it. Is this, is this a spy? Oh, bake, it's a bake, it's a, it's a spider bake sale. Come eat food made by spiders for spiders of spiders. All proceeds go to spiders in need. Will you buy a spider donut for seven gold? Yes, you got a spider donut. Where's my spider cider? You are most gracious. Have a nice day. Bake sale, bake sale. I would, yes, let me buy another donut, please. Free hugs? Hey, dude, I know you'll say no, but I'm selling free hugs. Darn it, you already read my sign, didn't you? <laughs> I did, I'm sorry, I hate myself. Wait, no, let me, why? No, don't bother asking. I'm closing the shop, okay? This was a dumb idea. Even if you did hug me, which would be sick, I'd probably kill you. Not intentionally, of course, that'd be a crime and I hate crime. Oh, great, you might be a criminal and now you definitely won't hug me. Just walk away. It would be better for both of us, wait. Hold on, you still want a hug? Bro, you need to learn when to let go. If you won't leave me alone, the hugs are no longer free. In fact, they are very expensive hugs. Whatever amount of money you own, they're like triple that. I'm honestly not sorry. Okay, I kinda still want a hug, but I'm still, but I'm in this way too deep. Ignore my existence, please. Okay, oh my, this cactus, I, that cactus is me. What is a snow igloo? Oh, is this the sapling that they're all tending to together? Sapling sits within the ground, new to life and unsure of itself. It is full of potential, but has yet to reach it. One day it might. Oh. Why? Why does that sound so meaningful? Is this, <laughs> is this monster hopscotch some kind of ancient inscription? It's not an ancient inscription, it's hopscotch, Clover. <laughs> what else do we have going on down? Oh, is this the family of my friend? Oh, this is the UGPS office. Ooh, oh, hey, Clover. Remember how I told you I apprehended a human last week? That's her. Is that Muffet? No. I was like, in disguise? No, I don't think so. You still think I'm... Your, your captain did explain to you I'm not a human, right? Please tell me she did. Oh, I'm sorry. I just thought you... No, no, I'm sorry. I just get it often. It's totally fine. You wouldn't believe me. You wouldn't believe how many grumpy monsters I deal with. I'm not... Not that you're grumpy. Not that you're a grumpy monster. I'm sure you're very nice. Uh, anyway... What's your name? It's Clover? Wait, I'm not supposed. Why are we answer- It's fine. Huh? No, not you, silly her. I actually- How about Red? That's what your colleagues have kept calling me every time I get falsely apprehended. To be honest, I hope that eventually I'd be caught enough that you'd all recognize me and it'd stop. It might just be wiser to join the guard at this point. Join? That would be fantastic. I'd be glad to show you the ropes of my job. You could even help me build puzzles. That might be a code violation now that I think about it. Ooh. Martlet, all of your puzzles appear to be just one giant code violation, honestly. <laughs> what? It can't be that easy to get in, right? I mean, they let me join. 
We'll figure it out. Me and Clover have some important business to attend to, but I should be free next week. You can find me doing my duty around Snowden any day. Oh, you're serious. Uh, I mean, sure. Sounds like a plan. See you then. See ya. This uh, Bartlett is just... Martlet is Martlet. That's all. Sorry, I'm not home. Oh, this isn't a UGPS post office or op a UGPS office. This is just a house with the UGPS sign next to it. Let's talk to Mail Whale. Hi, Mail Whale. You have a watch? If you don't, that's fine. Because you know what time it is? It's mail time, mail time. Yay! I truly hope you like your mail. As for me, I must set sail. I love mail whales so much. Adorable. Best mail carrier since Pete from Animal Crossing. Okay, let's see what we got. Spam letter five and the shuffler's letter. Let's read the shuffler's letter first. Oh, I remember the shufflers, the cups, the cool cups. Our latest shufflers recruit, Toast here. There's someone out in the wild that we forgot to warn you about. This scruffy fellow with a blue hat. Don't interact with him or support his endeavors. I won't tell you why, because this letter reads way cooler as a mystery. Now, I'll let Swig finish this. He gets upset when he misses out on writing letters. Yeah, upset, Swig. <laughs> Great contribution, Swig. I mean, I if you're talking about Mo, that's that ship has sailed, my friend. I'm gonna buy all of Mo's stuff. If you're a foxy monster looking for love, look no further than yours truly. I'm an elite athlete with more G than I know what to do with. Gold. G is gold. Okay, for a second, my brain panicked. G is gold. My IQ is so large, I could shatter the barrier just by staring at it. Regrets? My only regret in life is that I don't own a dumbbell heavier than 150 kilograms. I could go on for eons, but enough about me. Write your number here and send this letter back if you want your world changed. Can I? Can I interact with that letter, please? Can I? UGPS, how do I respond? Martlet. <laughs> How do I buy stationery? Triplets. That's not ominous. Triplets? That's it? Can I go this way? No. Clover's too wide to fit through here, too. <laughs> so, what do you have to say about here, Martlet? There's so much to see in this town. Okay. Basically, same thing as the upper level. What is this place? Oh? Like a long hallway. It's giving me like judgment corridor vibes. Not as grand, of course. I think it was the color scheme. Are we? Le <gasps> it's like a Snorlax cactus. What? You're very large. Are you okay? Can I help you? What happened? Sorry, buddy. This path is blocked. I ain't moving no matter what anyone does to provoke me. You wouldn't understand. Girl boss behavior. <laughs> hey, little fella. There ain't nothing to see here. Last I checked anyway. Maybe one day there will be a great treasure line beyond my hot bod. But as of right now, there's only a hot bod. Mine. I mean, I cannot argue this. But stone bathing is a delicate process. The more you make me flap my lips, the more uneven my tan will be. At this rate, I'm going to be a whole ass. Did she just say ass? She said ass. She swore. I love her. Yeah, uh-huh, cool. Keep disturbing me. Love it. <laughs> okay, so we can't get na next to... Sa we can't get past sa Sassy Cactus Queen, which is fine. I... I'm fine with that. She can do whatever she wants. Okay, the well. Wait, what was... Flowey won't come out because Martlet's here. I, I was... For a second, I thought I was saving myself. Well, 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 what do we have here? Martlet, I... Aw, oh, I left all my G at home. Would you lend me one? Yeah, here, take a gold. Thank you. What you wishing for, Martlet? Hmm, I wish that Clover will make it back home safely. That was really nice of you. 
Now you have a me. Now you have me and a wish on your side. Why is Martlet so sweet? The Dunes wishing well. Hold a gold close to your chest. Think of what you want most and toss it in. You never know. If enough monsters wish for something, it may come true. A wishing well with a large amount of gold inside. The Dunes wishing well. It just... It's like... I wonder if that's foreshadowing and a bunch of monsters are gonna have to- are gonna go throw gold in the well. Oh, like spirit bomb style, you know what I mean? Like to help Clover later. We met, we didn't, there is a path that we haven't gone, we didn't go down and it seems like we're... I'm gonna backtrack is what I'm trying to say here. <laughs> there was a path, there was a path in town that we did not take, we did not go north. We went south and that kind of led us out here into the wilds past the well and past Hot Bod Queen Cactus Queen. <laughs> so let's head back up this way. Oh, it's just a door, a large ornate gate. Unfortunately, it's locked. I I came back for it. Why does this gate look so cool and why like slightly out of place? It looks like that's is that is that what the wild east is? Because that looks like more e like old eastern architecture and this is like old western architecture that we have here. Okay, well, we've got that going on. We've got this cactus lady going on. So I guess we're, be we're being funneled into this direction, which is fine. What about this covered wagon here? Ah, uh, I see. An oak base with, an iron with iron nails holding it together. Oh, sorry. I was nerding out for a second. Sure, it's a cool wa- Sure is a cool wagon. You got a thing for wagons, Martlet? We can move on. I've seen enough. Oh, okay. Okay, Martlet. I didn't know you were in charge here. Why are you dot dot dotting me? Martlet is dot dot dotting me. I'm nervous. She's still doing it! Don't ellipses at me. Huh? Hang on. I think something's... Someone's coming this way. Who is it? Guys, looky here! Someone new has stumbled into our humble town! This better not be another joke. For once, don't look like it is. Hiya, strangers! Oh, hello! We're just passing through! Oh my god, look at this crew! Is another one gonna show up? I'm waiting for another one to show up. We have, like... A gigantic purple and pink hobgoblin. They've got like the same color scheme as Susie and they're wearing a tiny like bowler hat it looks like. We've got Undyne's very fashionable fish friend here. Like they just oh and like an adventurer squirrel and a mysterious cloaked person. I Ooh. We mean no harm, I promise. That's th that's what the last guy said. Let's just say he's one with the wind now. Oh my gosh, you... Whoa, ha, ha. I'm just kidding around. You were shaking in your boots for a second. Ha ha ha. You sure got me. That wasn't very funny, Edward. Okay, Edward is the big pink one. I can assure you we're a delight to be around. Nothing you can't handle, I'm sure. I... Ugh. Why do you two insist on searching, on scaring away every monster you meet? At least Mooch never oversteps her bounds. Oh, Mo Mooch is like the little adventurer squirrel. Never! Um, well, it was a pleasure to meet you four, but we'll be going now. Hold it right there, Missy! <gasps> There's the fifth. Okay, I knew it. There. <gasps> Come now? That ain't a way to treat guests now, is it? Who are you? The name's North Star. I run this town. Why do they their designs go Oh my god. They're like what are they? Like a little group of banditos? 
The name's North Star. I run this town. Not alone, of course. Are you a deputy? A sheriff? These fine monsters are my posse. Together, we are... The Feisty Five. Our name stands for... Fearlessness. Excellence. Intuition. Sneakiness. Toughness. <laughs> Youthfulness. Justice. The J is silent. <laughs> Stop! You're all goofballs. Anyway, now that we're introduced, I'd be glad to give you and your buddy a tour. Hold on. Your buddy. Are they, uh, human? Um, well, I won't say no. I knew it. There ain't no doubt in my mind that this kid is a real, living, authentic human. Sorry about this. I gotta seize this one-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Ed, fetch me that kid. Sure thing. Oof. Kidnapping Clover! Look at Clover's little face! Oh my god! Wait, what are you doing with Clover? What are you doing with Clover? Why is it Clover struggling? Ah, <laughs> uh, Clover, is it? That's a mighty fine name! To answer your question, Feathers, Clover and I got a town to run. Don't Feathers me! You're speaking to Martlet of the Royal Guard! I can and will report you to King Asgore for this abrasive behavior, but then you're gonna have to tell Clover, you're, you're gonna have to tell him about Clover! Your royal guard? That's funny, because I don't see anything to indicate that. No armor, weapon, badge? I left it all at my post in Snowden. Please don't bother trying to fool us. He's right. I am truly sorry about this. I really am. But business is business. Together, we'll be the feisty six. The alliteration. Shh. <laughs> Where are they going to fit Clover into that? <laughs> Clover, I can't go against these guys. Don't worry, I'll figure this out. Are we gonna play Smartlet? No. Star, should we be doing this? Poor Martlet is upset. Don't be a buzzkill, Moray. When, when's the last time something exciting happened around here? You've got a point. Uh-huh. This town's full of excitement, especially now. Let's go, bud. Oh, and feathers. Welcome to the Wild East. Oh, this is the Wild East. Oh my god. Clo I have an announcement to make. I keep missing dialogue because he just talks without me. <laughs> he just talks. <laughs> I think his name is Star. This little fella is Clover. These patrons are interesting. Hey, Star. What the hell are you doing bringing a human in here? Saroba, shush. Now I know you're all thinking, but trust me, Clover here ain't no greenhorn. They know what they're doing. Just look at that hat. Why is... Actually, this could be fun. Dina, hit me. Who is Saroba? All right, no more heckling from the crowd. Ahem. Ladies and gentle monsters, as Saroba said, Clover is a human. Ooh. I know exciting stuff of real honor. Now, I will let Clover tell you all about their life, but I've been studying up. I'm a bit of a human expert if you didn't know. Oh, great. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go indeed. Did you know that humans use monsters for transportation? Ooh. It's true. Large four-legged monsters. Those are caught. They put a seat on the top of them and everything. They're called horses, Star. Ah, so you knew of one. So you knew of one personally. That's quite impressive. Saroba is so unimpressed. Who is she, and what does she know? Did you also know that humans are fireproof? When they're feeling accomplished, they ride monsters straight into a huge fiery sphere. So the monsters burn, right? Most monsters aren't fireproof. Star, are you saying my friend... Are you saying my friend Horses was killed by a fiery sphere? What? I... No. Um, well, I'm not quite sure. 
I'll ask Clover. Do the monsters stop? No? See? Everyone's fireproof. Anyways, did you know that? Look, Star, you don't need to keep this up. Because it's all true, every word. Ha, I knew it. I'm pretty darn good, aren't I? You're the best. Yeah, the only sheriff for me. He is the sheriff, okay. Ha ha. Well, I reckon we're done here. Y'all can go back to your daily lives for now. I want to follow Soro, but where is she going? Who is she? As for you, Clover, it's about time to see what this town has to offer. I would give you a personal tour, but if there's one thing you have, if if there's one thing you have where you came from, it's freedom. Take your time exploring, talk to the townsfolk, and enjoy yourself. I'll be waiting here for you. Give me a shout when you're ready to start trading. What just happened? Well, I don't... You know what? It's fine. We're just... A, we're just a little overwhelmed right now. But in the best way possible. Okay, so let me get my bearings about me. We stumbled into the Wild East. By we, it's, I mean Clover and Martlet. Clover and Martlet stumble into the Wild East. We're confronted by the Feisty Five. Led by Star, the Sheriff of the Wild East. What is this town called? S are those frogs with... Are those tiny frogs with cowboy hats on? Okay, so... They f they see that Clover is a human, and by they, I mean the Feisty Five. Star orders Clover's kidnapping. Tells us that we're going to run the town together. Puts us on exposition in the bar. Gets... Verbally... Tossed by... Saroba? Who then proceeds to just walk off? And now we're, we have free reign of the bar? I'm a child! It, it's fine. We're gonna talk to everybody in here. I, the UG, the UGPS mail is, mail whale is here? Oh, uh, okay. You know, uh, it's fine. I, there's so much going on. It's good. I'm overwhelmed in a very, very, very good way. It's fine. It's okay. We're just gonna, we're gonna chip away at all the characters and all the dialogue in here and we'll get a full story of what's going on. Watch your step. A posse of micro frockets are camping out. They are. They're not just frogs, they're froggets. I love it. It's adorable. What an introduction, right? Hope you didn't have any stage fright. Stages can be scary, all wooden, occasionally making faces at you. Excuse me? I'm from out of town like yourself. Got some folks I'm close to back west. I really gotta get them over here soon. They'd love the atmosphere. Good luck out there, human. Is They'd love the atmosphere? Is that a fire joke? <laughs> it might be. Are you okay? Howdy, human. Toucan Sam, do you need help? I think they're fine. Give me a drink, bartender. I de they're definitely fine. Yeah, they're not saying anything new. They're good. Is this your top hat? Have I seen you before? I I think I if you put on the top hat, I might recognize you. I'm not sure. Well, I like you and your legs and your mouth. North Star is the coolest. One time, a construction team was demolishing a building in a new home, but uh-oh, an infant was an infant. An infant was in the way of the building, and as it came and as it came crashing down, suddenly North Star appeared and wound his lasso up. He wrangled that skyscraper without breaking. <laughs> yeehaw! Yeehaw! For saving its life, the building gave North Star one million gold. True story. True story. So the first twist was that he lassoed the building instead of the baby. And as I was recovering from that whiplash, the secondary whiplash kicked in of my cat is trying. Excuse me, sir. You cannot pet yourself on the mic stand. You can't. The secondary whiplash came in when 
The pyramid then described the event as saving the building and not the infant about to be crushed by the building. It's fine. It's very, very Toby Fox-like. Very... On par spirit-wise. Good, <laughs> good, good job. Good job, Undertale Yellow Team. Honestly... I just... I'm shaking my head at you in the best way possible. I'll come right out and say it. Yes, I am a finger. You're a finger? I came free with the last shipment of bottles. Uh, uh, is that supposed to be a joke, like a play on words? Because, like, a finger is like a... Isn't that a measurement? Like a, a volume measurement for alcohol? Is that what that joke is? But you're actually a finger. Are you a kid as well? Uh, I'm so sorry. What else do you want me to say? Stop poking around in my business. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, finger. That's so weird. <laughs> Several monsters are enjoying a nice fair game of poker. How do I keep losing? Because you've got... Because you're... That dude is all eyeballs. Things are heating up. Could be anyone's game. Shucks, I might have to take out a loan if I want to keep this up. Looks like we have a winner. Well played, well played, boys. That, yeah, it's... I'm, yes, of course, the eyeballs won. Let's talk to this amoeba over here. The saloon isn't always this crowded. It's happy hour, you see? Half price drinks. But you don't know what so, but you don't know that, so they'll continue to sell full price drinks. What? So only if you, you have to ask for happy hour? That's not very happy. I'm terrified of asking for things like that. Yeah, I'm one of those people. I'm sorry. I'm scared of asking for extra things. What do you want? What's wrong? Nothing. I don't want any... Actually, I want to know what's wrong. What's wrong? I'll tell you what's wrong. My life's a wreck. I... I want to fix you? I'm very confused. I like him. I... Wasted, woeful, washed up. I was supposed to make it big. I was gonna be a big time producer. You know, show business. I couldn't tell you where it went wrong. I studied hard. I graduated middle school. <laughs> what else do you need? S snuck my way into gig booking. I thought... Suck. I thought it said suck, not s It's fine, it's... Oh God, I'm sorry. Snuck my way into gig booking at a joint in Hotland with potential in my eyes. One day, this robot fellow rolled up to me and asked if I have ever produced an artist. Now, I'm a great producer, make hot beats on my computer every weekend. I had the talent, but I lacked the vision. I told that one wheel television that. Metaton? Is Metaton? Does Metaton already exist? When did Alfie's. Is Metaton was a ghost. When, I am like the the cogs in my head. Well, rather the little marble in my head is rolling around at accelerated rates, trying to figure out the Undertale timeline and when Alfie's made a body for for Metaton and when exactly that happened. I told you that one wheel television. They wouldn't make it, I. They wouldn't make it in the industry. What an idiot I was. They soon garnered a following and totally exploded. No, not literally. Maybe. <laughs> Look, kid, I'll tell you this. Sometimes it's like we don't control our lives. Fate is a cruel way of teaching us lessons. Have a little foresight and try not to grow arrogant like I did. Don't tr don't you forget that. Oh, he's so sad. I will- uh... It's fine. Let me feel sorry for myself, please. I will not let it go. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. It's fine. Who are you? As soon as I realized the screen was going to go to a shopkeeper screen, I knew this character design was going to be good. Oh my god. They're wearing snakes for a scarf. Oh, oh my god. 
the hair, everything. That's so good. Howdy, howdy, human. Take a gander at my wares. Hard-hidden stuff is off-limits. What is your name? Your snakes? Tell me about your snakes. Haha, <laughs> I get this question a lot. These fellas are my pets. Real reptiles, not monsters. Really? Their names are Anne, Sammy, and Bert. I'm gonna, like... Anne, Sammy, and Bert. I don't get it right now, but I'll probably get it later and I'll feel silly if there's something to get. The underground still houses some critters from the surface like birds and insects. I found these west of here, hiding in a crevice of sorts. Some monsters think keeping pets is strange, but I think it's cute. They give me something to talk to when business is slow. Can I leave? <laughs> what about this town? Oh, this little place? It's pretty fun around here. I heard it was established some years back when the dunes gained its name, if you get me. It should be polished on its history, but Star don't talk about those days. Oh, I should be polished on its history. Oh, okay, Star has a backstory. There we go. I was looking for a friendly environment to share my brute. That was a really silly statement. Star has a backstory. Like, of course Star has a backstory, but it's, it seems like it might be something painful that that star doesn't want to talk about i was looking for a friendly environment to share my brewing skills so here i am there ain't terribly much to do in this town but that only makes it more close-knit every day has been pretty predictable until you showed up my e i'm eager to see what star's planning um what uh let's ask about north star first what a character. Our big and courageous sheriff. I get a feeling he ain't as tough as he likes to play up. I, I don't, yeah. Saroba Sir, seemed to be walking all over him for sure. But then again, maybe he's just clumsy. His whole posse is a hoot. They're frequently, they frequently host parties here. He definitely knows the right kind of monsters to surround himself with. Not to mention Saroba, his his childhood friend. I get a kick out of her in Star's antics. When she brings her daughter into town, it's basically two against one. Now that I think about it, it's been a while since I saw the rascal. Saroba, I, oh God, if Saroba is snarky like that, I can only imagine. Well, so deadpan. She seems very deadpan from the interaction I got between her and Star. If she's anything like that, I can only imagine her child. Either the exact same, just miniature version, or complete opposite. You, it's good, it's all, it's almost always one of those. We really need to get the whole gang together again. Okay, so it looks like there's there used to be a tighter knit group here that maybe dissolved a little bit and went their separate ways, kind of. Howdy, howdy, human. Take a gander at my wares. Oh, that's right. I was so interested in talking, I forgot to actually look at your stuff. What? I can't have the adult soda? That's so funny. I love that they put it in there and they're like, you can't have it, but it's here. It's a bar and you can't drink this. <laughs> um, ice water, root beer, and a feisty slider. Heals 30 HP. A little baby burger. Oh, I... I have a cat named Slider, and it's it's just, he is a feisty Slider, and he is a little baby burger. I'm gonna buy this. <laughs> Quit caring so much. Oh, man! Let me buy my cat! I have a cat named Slider, who's been mentioned in Undertale Yellow officially. It's not a stretch. My cat was actually mentioned. Okay, I know it's a stretch. And I have a cat named Moss! And Chris loves moss. So there we go. It's official. My cats have been mentioned in Undertale and Deltarune. I can... I don't know. Take a nap happy now. Okay, let's put away these spider donuts. Well, we'll put away one spider donut. We'll put away some glass ammo. We'll put away the gold cactus. And... I... That's... That's, that's what we'll keep. Okay. Hi, I'm back. I, I never caught this person's name. What is their name? I sw Let's buy the feisty slider. Yeah. 
I'm gonna buy the root beer because it's family friendly and some ice water. I don't know, I just want to look at everything's description. Well, I guess the description shows up in that. I, I just, I'm just making excuses to buy everything, what can I say? Ice water heals 15 HP. The prequel to iced tea. No, the descriptions are different. It's good. I did it for something. Root beer heals 18 HP. It's family friendly. Oh no, the descriptions are not different. <laughs> I'm a ding dong. Feisty slider heals 30 HP. A small burger with a big flavor. Just 30 gold at the saloon. Says an ad printed on its wrapper. <laughs> the they are different. <laughs> Regardless, buying them, totally worth the money. Okay, I'm, I don't think I checked the info on the spider donut either. Spider donut heals 12 HP. A donut made with spider cider in the batter. Wow, that's how they make them? So where can I buy the spider cider? The microfroggets are arguing over the political strife in the underground. A mini bar fight ensues. A mini bar fight? Whoa! The head of the party calms the rest down, reminding them of their strong brotherhood. The microfroggets hug it out, settling their differences. Because at the end of the day, they're all just tiny frogs in a great big world. Oh! I'm now obsessed with the microfroggets. This town is big. This town is big enough for the six of them. Too big. I want to build them a tiny town so that they can live there. Me and Northstar are a lot alike, don't you think? The golden complexions, the hats, the owning of two legs. I would roleplay as his son if only he'd let me. Northstar's four friends are okay, but who cares about sidekicks? I mean, unless I was his sidekick, I would care about that a lot. I missed some dialogue for these people. And I never talked to UGPS Whale. How did I not talk to UGPS Male Whale? You're Clover, am I right? Your name has come up once or twice. Hmm? You look confused. Oh, right. I'm not rhyming. Yeah, that's just a company policy. <laughs> it gets a little tiresome sometimes. But other than that, I have no complaints. It's a great job. Would it trade it for the world? I'm a little worried, though. These days, those fancy cell phones are all the rage. The cell phone with the garbage noise took out Male Whale's job. I wonder what Male Whale's doing. I don't know how long the mail service will. Oh me, oh my, my breaks come to an end. See you next time, there's letters to send. <laughs> you did, you... Let me break character in the bar for a little while. Oops, gotta go back. Amazing, I love it. <clears throat> Dozens of unopened bottles sits within the boxes. You can't take one without making a ruckus. <laughs> but Clover thought about it. That's the takeaway here. Well played, well played, boys. Is this a bottle you sense cannibalistic intent? It's a mug of adult soda sitting on a bench. I didn't notice that my first lap around. My god, whatever you do, do not come here during crappy hour. <laughs> The drinks are twice as expensive, and Dina throws a punch at whoever orders one. Upside is, you get a coupon for 10% off your clinic visit at the end. I mean... Okay, so... That's... Dina is the bartender, and I am definitely coming to crappy hour. <laughs> okay, that's... That's great. We have exhausted our dialogue options here. Fantastic. Do... Um, do I go this way? You there, human. You okay? Yeah, not really. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. I'm good. Really? Well, all right then. I apologize for Star's antics. Are you not snarky? Are you just very level-headed? It's very... Well, yeah, deadpan, level-headed. Not deadpan in a comical way, I guess. Just very... Daroba's the, the straight man, I guess. I oppose for Star's antics. He's really into human culture and whatnot. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe I should stop trying to categorize all these characters into stereotypes. <laughs> He's really into human culture and whatnot. You show up here and he flips out. I mean, it's quite unbelievable. A few humans have wandered into the underground before, but they never set foot on these sands. All that to say, I'm glad you did. My name is Saroba. I'm a friend of Star's, but not part of his posse. 
They're a bit too rowdy for my taste. May I ask your name? It's Clover. Welcome to the underground, Clover. Your attire is surprising, I must say. But, um, I won't press you on the matter. I'm afraid Star is going to drag you into his activities for a while. You must have places to go, correct? The castle, the barrier... You probably want to go home. If I'm being honest, I haven't seen Star this ecstat ecstatic in some time. Maybe you should entertain him a bit. Roll with his punches. I'll see what I can do about allowing you to leave. I know of a safe path to Hotland through the... Ah, oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Talk to you later, Clover. It was nice to meet you. Okay, yeah, I... I don't know what... what Saroba's... What Saroba's deal is yet, but I, I... I like her, she's very calming. Like, I feel... Like she's telling me all this stuff and I want to trust her and like, yeah, okay, sure, I'll do whatever you say. I have no reason to mistrust you. Where other characters sometimes make me wary because it's like, ooh, Undertale, complex, morally gray characters, but... I don't know, I just really like her. And I think she wants to help, but... Hey, Star's back! <clears throat> Are you ready to begin? No! No rush, make yourself at home. <laughs> I forgot that he, w he wanted me to do training with him. I want to go to jail! Jail! What's here? <gasps> Clover, they put Bartlett in jail? No! She doesn't deserve it! <laughs> I knew I could count on you. So, me getting out of here. Any luck? Soon. <laughs> Let's hope. Thanks for being a po- Thanks for being positive. This is super ridiculous. Anyway, that's Sheriff Northstar, was it? What a jerk! I tried to fight for you, I really did. His hooligans were too strong and tossed me in here. Knowing that, I don't think force will do much good. There's gotta be a level-headed monster around here. One who knows that this is just unjust and will, will free me. When that time comes, I'll... I'll... Who am I kidding? I couldn't press charges or anything. <laughs> I talk big, but we're cornered. Asgore or another guard finding out about you would be the end. Huh. <sighs> Well, Northstar seems pretty enthusiastic about all of this. Maybe by playing along you can gain his favor and set me free. I don't know. Just play it cool for now. I'll be here. Ugh, what a day. Poor Martlet. Th you don't deserve this. Well, make it through this, Clover. I know it. The level-headed monster. I wonder if that's Saroba. You gotta get me out of here, kid. I have a family, hopes, dreams, TV programs I've missed. I didn't do nothing bad, I swear. Northstar will pay for this. Uh, I mean, I bought a drink for him the other day. He needs to pay me back. Yeah. <laughs> okay, smooth. Very smooth. Nice save. 6.5 out of 10. Wait, hold on. Let me talk to him again. I wonder where I could buy a train. What? I'm just talking to myself. Ignore me. Buy a train? Okay, buddy. Now I'm suspicious. What's up? Um, about Martlet. I totally get why you'd be upset, but I can explain, I think. See, if she is a royal guard, that would cause problems. She threatened to report Star to King Asgore. One thing leads to another, and the Wild East is in flames. Well, maybe. I'm sure Asgore would understand, but there are others. The head of the Royal Guard, particularly. Hopefully you didn't have a run-in with her. <gasps> who, who is... is it still... is it currently Undyne? Well... If Alphys is currently... the Royal Scientist... Then Undyne could... be the head of the Royal Guard. Right? I mean, I've never met her. I've just heard we look alike. <gasps> it is! Oh! <gasps> okay, I'm sorry. i sorry for yelling. Saloon gigs, Monday, Friday. Look, there he is. There's Metaton. Oh my God, there he is. And there's a sign for Moe's. A feisty five new recruit. Is that Clover? Not wanted. No reward. Oh, why? But they're so cool. The Swishers, right? What is... Did I forget their name already? I wonder what this what this music notation is. I wish I was music smart. It's fine. Wanted 30 gold reward. I can't tell who that is. 
unfortunately. But I... 30 gold sounds mighty familiar. Hey, I don't know if you're aware of this, but... There's a fun card game set up in the stable. My friend runs it while I oversee the... Profits. You should try it out. Why, are you going to, like, scam me? To answer the pressing question, no, I won't take my bandana off. I enjoy being mysterious and fashionable. I'd rather be left alone. Wait, tell me about your face! Sorry. Are you... What is... It looks like someone wearing long johns and also a very realistic horse head mask. It's unsettling. Are... Nay, 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 I say, for I am a horse each and every day. I crunch upon carrots and much upon hay, but a shy horse I am, so please go away. I... Sorry, I only had time to write one jingle. It took me all night. Maybe I'll think of another soon. That last line wasn't a joke, by the way. Being a horse is my only form of true expression. Who... Nay! I can't tell who this is. I... You know, it's fine. Be your true, authentic, horsey self. I... I'm not gonna question it. What? Uh, are you a giant domino piece? Greetings. May I interest you in a game of six shooter? It is a simple card game of the matching variety. It costs three gold to play with the potential of profit. Intrigued? I... Uh, yes. You had me at matching game? I will explain its rules, so listen carefully. A stack of 36 cards will be split into 20, then laid on the table separately. There are six card types, each with a different familiar face. You must match cards of the same face, but only if they are touching. Once two are matched, they will be removed from the grid. Two more cards from the reserved 16 card deck will replace them. Your goal is to empty the table by matching every card. If you win in under 45 seconds, you will be rewarded 25 gold. Under a minute and you will be rewarded 15. Any time after that will allow you to break even with three. If the deck is empty and there are no possible matches left, you will lose with no reward. Do you understand? I do. I do understand, but I don't... Oh, God. Okay, here we go. I don't remember. Wait. I thought this was a memory game, not a matching game. I'm silly. No, I just have to match them, but I have to do it kind of strategically. Otherwise, I could potentially, like, put myself in a position where there's no matches. That's what the game is telling me. But I'm just kind of doing it willy-nilly at this point, because I don't... Oh! Uh, that's what I get for being willy-nilly! Okay. That... A shame. Would you like to play again? I'm not gonna play again, but that... That's very intriguing. I could do that for a while. There are no hate puns to be made here. Why, Clover? Why? The boxes seem to be full of oats and carrots. It all looks highly inedible. The boxes seem to be full of oats and carrots. Go Clover, you're eating packing peanuts. Don't talk to me about edible and inedible. I just, I would like, uh, under Team Undertale Yellow deserves a lot of credit for everything they've done here, but I just... The fact that they even took the time to create mini games with their own little sets of rules and rewards and systems for winning, that's amazing to me. We've already run into at least two separate mini games that I could think of the Mew Mew Love Blaster arcade game and this little card game here. That's. That's amazing! Are you a cowboy kitty cat? No. Howdy! You got any of that? Any of that good catnip? You are! <laughs> I've been trying to die some. I've been dying to try some. Is what I would say if I were a dirty bandit. Yeah, ha ha. You were almost tricked. I could have caught you and turned you into the feisty five. Yeah, ha ha. Be more careful, partner. I. You. Clover almost got caught in a sting operation. You. The fact you didn't fall from my trap is pretty neato. Maybe you'll fit in around here better than I thought. Unless you're a bandit in disguise? Yeah, I'm only Josh in, partner. Ain't no place like the Wild East, I'll tell you that. 
So I guess this town overall is just referred to the Wild East. I was thinking more like the Wild East is a region similar to what she would refer to the dunes, but I guess the Wild East would be like the mines in the dunes. Got junk? Sell it right here at Blackjack's. Today's special fancy holster. Great for, for, great for defense. A fancy holster, but I don't want to give up my scarf. A fancy but dilapidated building. This confuses you. <laughs> I... Uh, it confuses and delights me. An unfinished game of Go Fish lies on the table. Guess they followed through. <laughs> they just went to Go Fish. Clover, you're silly. You're a... A purple people eater. You're adorable. Greetings, take a gander. Just don't touch anything. I Okay, you got it. I won't touch a thing. Let's talk. The Feisty Five. I was hoping you wouldn't ask about them. <sighs> what? Young hooligans are all they are. They just, the purple people eater just whipped out a pistol on me. Hooligans, I'm forced to put up with to keep my business afloat. The... <laughs> I'm very threatened. They have no respect for the fine arms I produce, always waving them around like they're some child's toy. However, I have learned how to benefit off their behavior. I'm the only monster around that provides such quality weapons, so whenever they push me, I push back and threaten to close shop. They always crumble and end up paying far more than the weapon they want is worth. A little money is worth a few headaches, haha. <laughs> What about your wares? Ah, yes, my gallery of babies. Uh, that sounded strange. Hmm. <laughs> These beauties are all crafted from the highest quality materials. I forged them myself in my personal gunsmithing room. A gunsmith? Not only do I make them with care, but I also care for them. I start my mornings by polishing the whole stock until I see my reflection in them. I also know how to handle these bad boys. I'm a way better shot than North Star, that's for sure. Oh, wait! Did you just... He just... You did not just accidental discharge. My man, are you serious? You, all that talk. I I saw a bandit in my rafters. Uh, you know what? I, I want to believe you for the sake of your image. I think you're so cool already. I was fooled. The Wild East gets many visitors each day. There's something about the aura here that some monsters can't get enough of. Don't you do it again. Now don't worry, I'm not selling ultra-deadly weapons to any passerby or with enough gold. I make sure my wares are tame enough not to be lethal. I myself am not one for violence. <laughs> well, used enough times consecuti consecutively, they could be lethal. But then again, a ballet shoe could also be lethal. Used enough times, I know what you're doing and it's not very nice. Look, don't question my morality too much. I am not prepared to speak about it. <laughs> I heard about this town some years back. I had mastered my smithing capabilities and was looking to open up the shop. As it turns out, there was an empty building here, so I thought, why not? Seemed like quite the perfect town for such a shop. Do I regret settling down here, resulting in endless torment from five demonic youngsters every day? <laughs> but everyone else I met is quite pleasant, so it balances out. I... What do you have? I don't have enough money for the wild re revolver. You're too young. Oh, I'm not allowed to buy it. That's funny. A fancy holster made from leather. I want to buy this, but it would be all my gold and I'm probably not even going to use it because I don't want to let go of that scarf. Silver ammo, finely crafted. Gunpowder, heels. It may- I'm gonna buy the possibly edible gunpowder. <gasps> my hands are full? Why are my pockets always full? Clover, can- Oh, it's because I bought... Everything from the saloon. Okay. <laughs> Let's put away the root beer, the feisty slider, uh, and the other spider donut, and we'll keep- We'll keep this stuff here. I don't want to sell anything. I'm too attached to all of my stuff. Gunpowder. I thank you. But he will he will let me sell stuff though. I see. Okay. Ah! 
Gunpowder heals HP? The forbidden spice. I used with your forbidden snacks and spices. I am getting this running theme here. Clover's taking the packing peanuts instead of the regular peanuts out of the shipping box to eat. We've got forbidden snacks and forbidden spices. Clover likes Clover likes to gnaw on the unedibles. It's it this it's basically canon at this point. Just Clover just chews on sticks. A giant lock prevents your exit. Kind of overkill. <laughs> oh, what's over here? An old necklace discarded in the sand. Looks expensive. Take it? Yeah, maybe we can find its owner. You got the necklace. Unless I can keep it. <laughs> A broken but dazzling necklace. Can't be worn but could be war could but could be worth something. Hmm. You cannot use this item. Okay. Well, maybe maybe someone will need it, or maybe we can repair it into an item. Um, or maybe it's just junk to be sold. The necklace is worth a hundred gold. Maybe it's just Maybe it's literally what it says. It could be worth something. Usually when an RPG tells you that an item could be worth something, it means that it's something that it's purely to pick up and sell for gold. But I'll hold on to it for a little while, just in case. Oh, hi! You're... A sentient cactus in a land of non-sentient cactus? How does that make you feel? This town is quite the spectacle, is it not? Aha, I would bury myself in its sand if I could. Yep, yep. Have you met my cousin over by the oasis? What a sad sight. Boo-hoo. What he needs is a visit to the wild east, he does. Lifts the spirits right up. Oh, yes. That other fellow neither well. Oh, oh, I don't know them. Lying around in this heat will dry you out, I say. I hope you have a wonderful, happy time here. Aha, uh -huh. oh, yes, I'm sure you will. This is such a jolly cactus. Bye, friend. Hey, kid. Sorry for being so forceful earlier. I'm just doing what Star thinks is best. This whole thing snuck up on us, that's for sure. I'm optimistic about it. Not to brag, but I'm basically Star's right-hand man. I do all the heavy lifting around here. Star just asks nicely and off I go. Ain't that a cool relationship? <laughs> I'm sure you'll have a good time here. Looking forward to the training. I okay, okay. I'm, all I'm questioning what this training exactly is. Also, I'm, I'm, I feel kind of bad because everything happened so fast with the Feisty Five. I don't remember everybody's individual names, even though they gave me all of the names. I don't remember them. A target with darts of various shapes and sizes. Suck, and sizes suck into it. Stuck into it. What is it? No, it does say suck. It does. It wasn't me this time. This time it actually did say suck. I, okay, I, I feel vindicated. <laughs> a target with darts of various shapes and sizes suck into it. Some kind of berry plant. You notice a few berries are missing. I mean, how would you know how many berries would... How would you notice that? You press on the mattress and watch your hand get swallowed by the memory foam. So soft. Is this the Feisty Five's house? A firm sleeping bag sits in the corner, threatening to restrict free sleepers. There's a hole in the floor, how comfy. <laughs> you push the hammock, it sways hypnotizing. Weird, you haven't seen any cats around. A surprisingly clean kitchen, impressive. A couch not unfit for a thrift store. <laughs> These cramped living conditions are bringing back unpleasant memories. Are you an orphan, Clover? Do you live in like a group home? A few videotapes with custom labels stuck on them. My favorite movie. My second favorite movie. Don't watch this one, zero out of 10. <laughs> you turn the TV on. This is your favorite channel.
Yeah, I wonder if that this is your favorite channel is kind of like, it's funny because we don't get reception where I'm from either. Like, it's funny sad, not funny haha. -ha. Hiya! Swell job sitting on that stool. I have a feeling you'll be the talk of the town. We're gonna have so much fun training together. Hee <laughs> hee! Anyway, see you later! Wait, hold on. I'm not done with you yet. Why are you looking at me that way? I was just being friendly, honest. It's nice to accept someone's kind words and leave it at that. I mean, actually, that's a good lesson. I'm sure... I sure am looking forward to training with you. Okay, training, training, training. All these feisty five just want to train me. Into what? I don't know yet. A closet with some cleaning supplies inside. They all look brand new. Who's this sleepy fellow? What are you doing, Z, in there? Several odd smells seep from the dresser. You decide not to inspect further. <laughs> I... Who is this? A closet with smum, with cleaning supplies inside. Okay, I'm trying to talk to the sleepy fellow here. The sleepy egg. A nap sounds nice. Take it anywhere but here. Oh, is this the hospital? Yeah, okay, I understand. You don't know what you're looking at, but it's probably dangerous. <laughs> yeah, everything in the hospital is probably dangerous. It's fine. The drawers are filled with clean-ish sheets and pillowcases. Ew. <laughs> Welcome to the Wild East Clinic. We put the hospital in hospitality. They call me Doc. Are you sick? Hurt? What is your diagnosis? Uh, a <laughs> shy one, no problem. I have just the boost you need. For an upfront price of 30 gold, I can overcharge your health. It is an experimental medicine, but who said it? I was qualified. Oh, like I can go like 30 out of 20 HP instead, but then once I lose those HP points, I can't gain them back, I assume. Sure, right before training? Sounds great. I'm going to need the exact payment. Sorry. Gotta keep the doors open. So oh, I don't have... <gasps> I spent all my gold. I cannot overcharge my health. Oh, no. Hello. I'm home from the free Wallipops. After I checked myself in, the dog said he went out of lollipops yesterday. Um, at least I have this fluffy bed to chew me up. You're cute. Why do you talk? I don't, you know what? It's, I don't need to ask that. That's not, I don't need to. I just, can, I just can accept that I like you. You know what's better than lollipops? Hot chocolate lollipops. A nice monster named Mo gave me one the other day. Monsters like him deserve a big hug. Oh, he likes Mo. I wonder how long it'll take for Doc to realize I'm not sick. <laughs> oh, what was I like? Clover just kind of zipped. I was. I don't know. It's fine. Okay, I've talked to everybody. I think I can talk to. I went into that place there. I went around this corner here and talked to everybody here. The weapon shop. Yep, the locked door. Oh, what, what was here? What did we do? That's right. There was the necklace there. This, this is blocked off. And then the only thing left to do is start training. And instead of do <gasps> instead of doing that, we're gonna ring this bell. I can ring the bell. I love ringing the bell. We're gonna end it here, friends, and leave training as a great way to start off the next episode. Thank you so much for joining me. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you guys next time. Goodbye.